I've been working on this series of paintings and it's really struck me that when I started I had no idea what they were going to be or how they were going to turn out. There's something quite interesting, exciting, uncomfortable in that process of starting without any clear intention or route map or destination. So sometimes in my art making I will have a very clear idea of what I'm going to create. I might draw it out before I paint it and I fairly much know what I'm going to paint before I've even started but most of the time I kind of start and work my way through and discover through doing and let a painting unfurl and become without a clear idea of what it's going to be and there's a there's something exciting in that but there's also something unnerving in it as well I guess and I quite enjoy that sort of problem solving and wrangling a painting into into what it's going to be. It, there's something lovely about that and I'm right in the middle of it so that's why I thought I would talk about that today. I read a quote from the artist Paula Rigo which I thought was really applicable to this sense of not knowing. And she said, we're doing it to find out what the result will be. We're doing it to find out what the result will be. And I think that's so true. We are creating art to find out where it's gonna take us. So these are some of the paintings I've been working on. And I've just been kind of edging them forward ever so slowly. So I might come to the studio and just spend an hour adding details to one then leave it and come back they're sort of coming into being really slowly but there's something that I'm really enjoying about that the unknown destination the enjoying the paint just slowly edging these paintings into being and the smaller ones are more resolved and a nearer completion and the larger ones I've still got some work to be done on them, definitely. They're in that sort of messy middle stage, but I think the smaller ones are more, they're fairly much where they're gonna be, but I need to do some, some details on them. Whereas these larger ones, and there's another one, um, are still in that sort of slightly awkward teenager phase <laughs> where they're not quite where I want them. I'm just gonna, work on them slowly and enjoy enjoy the process of not knowing what they're going to be and letting them find their way although i say i don't know where they're going i do have a really good support system my sketchbooks and my sketchbook practice are really my <laughs> safety net and support system for all of my painting so i can set out with no idea of where I'm going with the painting, but I know that I've got a resource, this filing cabinet of ideas that are my ideas and my motifs and my ways of making art. And it means that at any point in the painting when I'm feeling stuck or I'm not sure what to do, I've got this great like place where I can go and look and seek and find things that are exciting me. You know, I... I've got this little one page sketchbook and there was something about these sort of starry flower shapes that when I was working on these paintings I just kept spotting these and so that was a really good help for me and it was just a little scrappy one page sketchbook that I made whilst watching television but I've got this big pile of things that I can root through and look at and go back to and it's like a backup team for when I feel like I might need some help and support. So it's always really interesting that I think I'm setting out with no ideas and then things that I have created in my sketchbooks appear or I actively go looking and take something from one page, something from another page. So... Although I don't know where I'm heading, I know that I, at any point, can use my sketchbooks or art journals or drawings, whatever it might be, as a way to help me. And so that's why I find sketchbooks such a lovely resource, a way to gather 
kind of little just ideas you know and it's like a catalog <laughs> of my own art that I can pull on at any point when I'm stuck or I don't know what I'm doing and I can go back to sketchbooks from you know ages ago and I can often find you know it could be a mark or a colour or something that just excites me and interests me and you know that I want to then apply to the painting so I'm comfortable in the unknown and not knowing where my paintings are going to go but I've also got this really robust kind of support system and that's really helpful to me in my own art making. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Helen is evangelical about sketchbooks, <laughs> but it really has helped me. It just allows me to create art, I think with a sense of adventure and a sense of not knowing and a sense of being really happy in the not knowing because I've got this kind of filing cabinets of ideas that are behind me and that can support me at any point.